I'm uh, going to spend a little time talking about my uh, work in the domain of educational and social program evaluation. Um, in some senses, I consider myself a methodologist. And if you'd asked me when I was in graduate school what I wanted to be when I grew up, methodology was the last thing on my mind. I found it boring and uninteresting. But then I encountered and bumped into the field of program evaluation, which is the application of social science methods um, in, in the real world, in the world of, of social and educational programs and people, um, with the potential of having some consequence, some, making some difference for people on the ground. So I became enchanted with uh, this field while I was in graduate school several decades ago and have um, advanced um, several different ideas in this field, building on some legacies here at the University of Illinois. And the idea that has um, sustained my interest and my passion is that of positioning social and educational program evaluation in the interest of the public good. It's a democratic approach to program evaluation whereby the questions asked, the data collected, the answers provided serve not just the interests of funders and program managers and administrators, but also the people who are in intended beneficiaries of the programs, the students, uh, the drug users, the pregnant women who don't have enough money for health care, um, as well as their families and communities. Um, and this notion of positioning evaluation in service of the public good, it's a, a very, a, again, democratic form of evaluation, um, requires that we think well about method. Of course, we need to have strong, defensible, technical procedures to generate data that have some comp that we, in which we can have some confidence. But it also draws attention both to the socio-political context in which evaluation is being conducted and questions like who wants this evaluation, what policies are at hand. It also draws important attention to what I would call the relational dimensions of evaluation. We often think of social science as a science, technical and procedural. But program evaluation as a democratic enterprise also becomes highly relational and communicative. And um, people like myself begin to draw on fields of scholarship um, like communicative approaches to social understanding and so forth. 